Everybody, Sergeant Pope here, and it's been a while, but today I do have another Game of News with Pope video. Today is actually the 28th episode, which is crazy. Mav, get the fuck out of here! My cat's going crazy. Hey, everybody. So, um, yeah, so today is the 27th episode. Uh, the gameplay today is Resident Evil 6, and um, I didn't do any campaign gameplay. I got like some mini game gameplay. So, um, I might have enough. If I don't, I'll switch to a different game or something. But uh, hopefully, we have enough for this. Um, if you guys do have any gameplay suggestions, once again, be sure to leave that in the comment section below, and I'll try to play those. And, um, the articles are pretty cool today, so, um, I guess I'll go ahead and get in them. And by the way, sorry I haven't made any Game News Pope videos recently. Uh, college is pretty crazy, and since I'm getting to the end of my semester, it's pretty fucking intense. So hopefully we get these more often, and with that said, I'll go right into these news articles. So, jumping right in this first news article, this one's kind of controversial, or maybe not controversial, but, uh... A lot of people have been really pissed off about it, and it kind of fired up a ton of people. Um, but this is, this article is in response to that one Microsoft guy. I really don't even think Microsoft likes him, but uh, he was that guy on Twitter that was going like, Yo, dog, uh, Xbox should have to have an online internet connection to work. Which, uh, obviously that guy's an idiot. Uh, there's no reason for the Xbox really to have an online connection all the time, because really it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, some people don't care about having online for their consoles, some people don't want to, and uh, it's kind of bullshit to be honest. So uh, that guy's stupid by the way, let's get that right fight off there. But this news article says, the internet in the US isn't built for an always online gaming console. Which is really true because um, th this article goes into how reliable internet is. Because I don't know about you guys, but uh, my internet uh, honestly goes out quite a bit. Uh, my internet service provider is Mediacom, and really to be honest, Mediacom is pretty good, but uh, uh, maybe with the re maybe with the uh, reliability, it's not quite there. Uh, I mean, TV works fine, phone works fine, electricity works fine, but uh, internet, you know, it's just a little bit tendency to uh, go out. And uh, what basically, that's exactly what this guy says in this article. So I completely agree with this article. It's in the description if you guys want to read it yourself, because uh, honestly, this guy really did a great job writing this article. Um, but uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Do you, uh, should the next Xbox have an always online uh, connection to work? Or uh, is that fucking stupid? Because honestly, if you say that it should have an online connection, then you're kind of stupid in my opinion. But uh, whatever, who gives a shit? So, pretty crazy. So, moving into this next news article. This one about PlayStation Plus. And uh, I've had this thought going through my mind ever since PlayStation Plus came out. And uh, it's the same thing this uh, this guy says. Man, it's kind of weird I'm agreeing with all these people. What the hell? Um, but anyways, uh, this guy talks about how, um, you know, PlayStation Plus gives you free games every month. And um, you never know which game they're going to pick to give you free every month. So it's kind of like, hey, should I actually buy this game? Or is it going to get free next month? And, I didn't, man, it's crazy because I had the exact same thought. Um, but apparently now Sony fixed this. Fuck yeah. Um, apparently, um... I think on their website, uh, I didn't really get, I didn't really read that part of it. But apparently, um, they are telling uh, the game collection for the months like 2013 or March 2013 with Spec Ops: The Line and uh, The Cave and some other games. It says right here. But um, yeah, it's really cool. Now you actually know which games you should buy at least for the next coming month. I guess like if it shows March, you won't actually know what they come out in April. But you know, it's still better than nothing. Um, so uh, I guess hopefully now we won't buy games that just become free next month. So uh, good job Sony, you actually uh, are doing some good things over there, nice job. So moving into this last news article, this one's about EA, and uh, I don't know if you guys read this recently, but um, apparently they were voted the worst company in America, which uh, just for right off the bat, I don't really agree with that. Um, There's some pretty goddamn terrible companies out there, and even just going with gaming developer companies, or actually publishers, um, really THQ probably did worse just because THQ went out of business and obviously EA did not go out of business. Um, so I would say, I mean technically THQ, I really love their games and everything. I think they do a better job than EA, but then again, THQ did go out of business. So, you know, just some, something to think about. But anyways, um, they have a bunch of quotes. Uh, Peter Moore, the COO, the Chief uh, Operating Officer. Chief Operating Officer. Oh, look at that. I know it. Yeah, I'm crazy. Um, but uh, 
he was talking about the company. He was like, we will do better, you know, like shit like that. Um, he says they fucked up on pricing models, um, huge fuck up on SimCity, and some other things. But then he also talked about how many people were on Origin. Um, this uh, this particular article doesn't have the figure he was talking about, but it, I, he had a really high number of people that are using Origin. And just so you guys know, the only reason people are using Origin is because they're forced to. I'm just saying that. I mean, I have Origin on my PC because I play Sims and I play Battlefield and Medal of Honor and um, I don't know what else. I think that's pretty much it. But uh, I mean, you have to play those games on Origin. It's kind of like with Ubisoft, you have to use their Uplay. I mean, I'm not using that shit because I like it better than Steam. I'm using that shit because I like their fucking games. God damn. So anyways, EA, hopefully you'll do a little bit better next year. Um, you guys didn't do that bad last year. I don't think you guys were the worst company in America. Plenty of worst companies out there. But here's one little tip. Stop using online passes, you fucking assholes. Jesus Christ. That stuff is so fucking annoying. Jesus. You know what? With cars, if, if I buy a used car right now, it's not going to have, like, I have to pay 10 bucks to drive it around town. Fuck that. You just fucking put gas in that thing, which honestly does cost more than 10 bucks. But you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm not giving EA more money for an online pass, you little bitches. So yeah, good shit. Well, that pretty much finishes up this Game News Pope video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this 28th episode. Sorry I had to wait so fucking long. I know it's pretty terrible whenever, I mean, like only a couple episodes a month. What the fuck is this shit, right? God damn. So hopefully next week I do come out with another Game News Pope video. Uh, but uh, if you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to drop a like on it. Shows me that you guys support this stuff, and uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for stopping by, guys. And, um, man, I'm going to fucking end this video because my room is hot as shit. My computer gets so fucking hot. And now that the summer is coming, it's actually warm outside. It's crazy. But, yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. And I'll see you later. Peace, bitches.